Okay, we are reading. What is this, Jude? The Day the Crayons Quit. By? Oliver Jeffers. <laughs> Pictures by Oliver Jeffers. Story by? Drew DeWalt. Drew. From the From the illustrator of Stuck, and this moose belongs to me. Hmm, <laughs> haven't heard of those, but we'll have to check them out. To Marichelle, Abigail, and Reese. Dee Dee, to you and OJ. The day the crayons quit. Wow. What does that sign say? I don't know. It says, We're not happy and down with this sort of thing. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Look at that. To Duncan. Uh, hey, Duncan. Yeah, it's me, Red Cran. Yeah, listen, we need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I, I wear myself out. Coloring, you know, fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Cran. Look at that guy. Well, he looks really tired, doesn't he? Uh, dear Duncan. All right, listen. I I love the. I'm your favorite Cran for grapes, dragons, and wizards' hats. But uh, it makes me. Crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. Ugh. If you didn't, if you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crown. Hmm. <laughs> he's, he's a stickler for coloring in the lines, but look, he's all outside the lines, isn't he? Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I'm beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies. Well, the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. Well, let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. It's, it's <laughs> Look at him. Beige. It's not beige crayon. Oh, Duncan, great grand here. You are killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but <laughs> that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. I don't know. I don't even get... Oh, and don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know? They so are tiny rocks. Pebbles! How about one of those but once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Cran. Hmm. Gray and red both need a break, don't they? <clears throat> and two on, on. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? <laughs> Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you're using me on. White. If I don't have a black outline, you, or if I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or, or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, White Cran. Can you guys spot White Cran? <laughs> like, what did he call this 
this drawing over here. Dad? White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. Dad, stop. Do you guys ever use the white crayons? No. <laughs> I'm never going to use white. Uh, hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors. All of which think they're brighter than me. Yeah. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the, the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. No, 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 no. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> yeah, well, on this page, there's a lot of black. And here's a black beach ball. <laughs> do you guys sometimes do that? Draw in the outline with the black crayon and then color it in with something else? With the other colors? Hey! Oops, sorry, bud. Let's see. Uh, dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing you for two reasons. One is to say I like my workloads of crocodiles, trees, uh, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very sex successful uh, coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is uh, for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. <laughs> Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So happy, Green Crayon's all happy. What do you guys think? Is the color of the sun yellow or orange? Yellow. Orange. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Oh, it's because I have orange hair and he has yellow. Oh, yeah. Uh, dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need, I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, and the true color of the sun. It's not yellow corn, crayon. it's hay. No, is that what it is? Could be anything. Uh, dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talk to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. <laughs> We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Cran. Look, well, he's got a point. Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper. Sure enough, there's the orange sun, isn't it? Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before, and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. <laughs> but the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. <laughs> Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Ooh. Boy, look, he is pretty stubby, isn't he? He's gotten really small, huh? He just used him up. Do you guys have any crayons that have gotten, you use them so much that they've gotten stubby like that? They've yeah. gotten really small? Blue's a popular one. Okay, Duncan. <laughs> Listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. 
I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Anyway, now back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? <laughs> Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Cran. <laughs> you like pink, that's don't you boys? Pink. That's a, no, he doesn't like pink. Jude doesn't like pink, or Oliver doesn't like pink. Jude I, likes pink. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Duncan, uh, it's me, Peach Cran. Uh, why, why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I, I don't even have any underwear. <laughs> How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. <laughs> you guys ever tear the wrapping off of the crayons? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. What is it? No, look, look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, look at everything in here. What's what do you guys see? What does it, I see what a purple flying a? dragon. What does A mean? What, what does A mean? A yellow and a pink dinosaur. There's Santa and his red. As usual, there's a brown bear. Looks like he didn't end up using the beige on the bear. As was requested. Oh, but hey, white got used for the white cat swimming in a green ocean. Below it, beneath a yellow sky. Hey, what color is the sun on this page? White. <laughs> uh, where's the sun? Orange. Orange. Looks like orange went out there. The orange whale. Hey, and pink got used for a pink uh, airplane, too. A pink princess. Yeah. With a princess. How oh. do you know she's a princess? A crown. Yep. Yeah, looks like it. Ooh, look, there's a a green uh, rain cloud with with orange rain. Looks like acid rain, huh? Oh, the black <laughs> beach ball. Oh, the there black, it is. And the black rainbow. <laughs> and the black black penguins. Yep. Black got used a little bit, didn't it? Oh, and he got an A plus for creativity. Look at that. I'm gonna have that crayon. That's the multicolored crayon, huh? We like that book, don't we? And the sequel to it. If there are the authors, mm -hmm. Drew Daywalt and hey, Oliver Jeffers. Looks like that's Oliver Jeffers when he was a little boy. Or maybe it's his son or something. And Drew Daywalt. Okay. Boo! Boo! Down with this sort of thing! We're not happy! <laughs> Great book.